All right, welcome back to our Anime Studio Stewie creation. Okay, so we've got the head, the body, the pelvis. So Stewie needs some legs. So let's start with a new vector image. And we're going to name it Leg. Okay, so what we're going to do is we need to create the leg so that it fits with the pelvis area here. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn the body and the pelvis and the head off for right now so we can just see, you know, just our drawing of Stewie. So we need to create the leg. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a square <coughs> right there. And then we're going to shape it to Stewie's leg. And then we can turn the pelvis back on to see where it's going to cross up and meet here. Move that down to right about there. And there. Okay. And there's a basic Stewie's leg for his first leg. Now we want to make it, we still got the style pants here, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit U for create shape. And we're going to create that, okay, but we want the leg to look like it goes with the pants, so we're going to hide those lines right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create another for the back leg. Oops. If I could type, it would be wonderful. Okay, so now what we would need to do is we need to create this back leg. So we're going to hit, uh, let's go create another square. And then we're going to adjust it to where we have Stewie's other leg. I'm just using hotkeys to like change these around a bit, you know, between like T for the, you know your translate points. I hit A to add that point in there, and then we're gonna hit U to create the shape. All right, now the thing is, we want this leg behind the pelvis. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that back leg and we're gonna move it down here behind the pelvis. Okay, and what that does is, you know, it creates, it looks like pants, because it puts that behind there and hides that real nice and neat. So, now we can turn the head and the body on, and you can kind of see where we're going here. Now I need some feet. So let's create some feet for Stewie here. So we're going to create a new vector, and we're going to go feet. Well, let's just do it as foot, because we have to do them as separate layers so they can attach to each leg. So we're going to draw a little circle here, and then we're going to hit T, and we're going to translate some points. We're going to add a point there, and we're going to add one here to bring that back down a little bit translate these ones around a bit until we can get the general shape of Stewie's foot. we we'll change the curve in that one a little bit. There we go. And that's generally his foot. <coughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new style for his shoes. And his shoes are going to be black, so we're just going to leave that black. We're going to go back and we're going to click Style for Shoes and hit U for Create Shape. And there's one shoe for that foot. Okay, now the thing is that foot goes with that leg. So we want to put that foot right there with that leg. Alright, now we need one for the back leg. So let's duplicate the foot and 
and put the back foot with the back leg. And then we're just going to hit one for move layer and we're going to move it over there so that it matches up with that one. Okay, but see, here's the thing. See how they kind of blend together there? And if you turn those off, you see Stewie's got that. What we can do is we can go into, let's turn those back on. Let's go back into advanced, go to style, let's go to shoes, which is going to bring up our shoes property. And let's change the stroke or the line outline around that. Let's lighten it up, turn it to like a grayish color, like that right there, and click OK. And now you can see the difference between Stewie's shoes. But that's too wide, so let's narrow that down. There you go. Just by changing the width of the stroke. And that's why it's good to use the style. So you can go back in and change that without having to redraw everything. You can go in and just make slight adjustments to your different styles there. And basically, that's Stewie's legs. So we'll see you on the next one. And we'll when we make his arms.